Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will be looking at prioritizing gaming. So this video was one of those top requested so I decided to do a video for you um, on it. So prioritizing gaming is not an easy task. There are so many variables associated with that because each game manufacturer use different ports um, to, to communicate with like the client to the server to download files from 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 their server or even from other servers and even in up transactions might go through a different server and so forth so in order to prioritize a game or even the gameplay some of the time some of these um, providers use different ports based on what you are doing so it's a bit difficult in terms of identifying all of these and prioritizing them so what i did was i started with um, steam which was one of the most popular platform and so i started prioritize doing some prioritization on that so what i did first of all was i created a layer 7 protocol i put in all the strings that would be associated with steam so there are particular strings that Steam uses in their URLs. So I've put that in the layer 7 protocol. And what I did with that was I use in this rule, I use that protocol to identify um, Steam traffic. So let me start from the top. So the first rule that we have, this rule is used with Steam ports. So these are the ports that they use. Um, this is UDP ports actually that they use to communicate. So I've put those in, in that port. And uh, we have the TC TCP ports that they use. So I created a, a connection. So all of these are really marked connections. And all these connections are marked with steam.con. So that's the connection marking for all of them. And for this is the layer 7 uh, rule. So what I did was in advance, I, select, I selected the layer 7 protocol, which I showed you earlier, and marked that as a connection also. Then I also look at HTTP traffic going to Steam. So, so HTTP traffic goes over port 443. And what I did was I use TLS OS. What it does is it's able to read the string into a secure URL, which is HTTPS. And I use that now to identify the connection. So there's a, quite a number of things happening here. And then, and then afterwards, I take that connection and I mark the pockets as Steam pockets. Some other things that I did was I marked traffic for regular browsing, which is regular HTTP and HTTPS traffic. I marked mark those and then I marked the connections, then I marked the pockets for, for both connections. And then I have another one now for others. So this is anything that doesn't fall within uh, the previous rules they will be captured in these in this last two rules so i've created queues for for the traffic and this is what i did was i created a queue for global which is all the traffic that is flowing through the network to the internet and i set a upload and a download speed these speeds are not fixed so you can change them to whatever your internet connection is and uh, the first queue that I have here is browsing. And uh, if we look at the queue in advance, we have a priority. So this is, this is what determines the prioritization of a particular queue based on this number. So I set the HTTP to, to priority 5. If we look at the other queue, this is just for any other traffic. And you can look at the speeds that I set so I give these lower speeds and 
if you look at the priority, priority this is this, this has a priority eight. So this has the lowest priority. Priority eight is the lowest priority. So I've given those traffic the lowest. And now for Steam traffic, I give that the highest upload and the highest download possible based on my global speed. So it's okay to set these to the maximum of your global because what will happen is that this queue will be able to reach the maximum of your bandwidth. So if you look at the Steam queue now, I've given it a priority one. That means this queue has the highest priority. So not only that it has the fastest um, avail the most bandwidth allocated to it, but it also has the highest priority. So um oh I see one other change. This is supposed to be the same also. Yeah, so these two things are supposed to be the same. So whatever upload and download speed is supposed to be here, you need to put them here to ensure that um the queue functions correctly. And another thing is to sort your queues. So if you click on the number sign you can actually move your queues up and down what this does this number mean the order in which your queues will be processed so first of all the router will process the global queue first then steam queue second then browsing then order so remember to ensure that steam is is at in the order of number one which is the second highest um, order other than global because you want global to be processed first and then anything else after so if you click back on name it will sort back the queues based on the parent so this would be a parent queue and everything else will be um, a child queue so I'm going to do a test so what I have I'm going to open steam and I was downloading um, a game and I'm going to just resume the download and then you see where the traffic is going so I just resume the download so I'm going to go back to the queue so you're seeing where the traffic you see the traffic is so now you can see the steam queue is lighting up and you can see the download speed and upload speed for that queue so the queue for Steam, you can say it's working. You can also add um, another column here to see the rate. Let me just add that quickly. Okay, so now you can see the rate. Just pull over these a little bit. Yes. All right, so you're seeing where this um, queue, all Steam packets are being captured here. So you realize it's a layer seven protocol that is actually identifying this traffic. So that's the reason why I have uh, um, so many different Mongo rules were created because Steam uses different protocols and ports to transmit data. I'm going to put a script in the description of the video so you can actually try it and you can make the adjustment as you need. You can change up the speed of the download or upload according to what you want or based on your needs. You can give me some feedbacks in terms of how well it works, if you had issues with it, because this is just um, a testing. This is just really in testing. So this is the first version or i will call this version one of prioritizing steam games so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching